So yo, Duranado, what's the best gears for cycling? I use a 28 personally. So 28 means, this is your rear cassette, right? This goes in your back wheel. This is called a cassette. 28 means it's got 28 teeth. So if you count those teeth, that's 28. I use a, what's called a 28 on the back. I'd recommend a 30 or a 32. If you live in a hilly area like San Francisco or whatever, get a 28 or a 32 on the back. If you live in a dead flat place, Kansas City or whatever, it doesn't really matter. But if you do hills and you want to spin, you want to have your, your pedal revolutions over 80. So that means 80 revolutions per minute. So 80 RPM plus between 80 and 100 up any climb means your body's going to work more efficiently. You can go less than that. It means you're going to be grinding and, and that's where you lose power. If your cadence drops under 80, you're losing power. People go, oh, I just ride my bike to work. I just ride with my kid. Efficiency is what we want. None of us are going to win the Tour de France. None of us are going to, you know, we want efficiency, right? It's like when you walk to the shops, you don't take longer steps than you have to. It's about efficiency. On the front chain ring, this is called the chain ring. This is called the crank set, the crank arm, the chain rings. So these rings, when they wear out, you can replace them. So this is the chain ring. And this is a 50, so it's a 50 teeth. So if we count the teeth, it's 50 teeth on the, on the big one. The little one is a 34. So that's what I recommend is a 50, 34 on the front and a 28 or a 32 on the back if you'd like to do the climbing. It's going to give you a better cadence. Cadence meaning how many times your pedals go around. I recommend getting a power meter, investing in power meter. I use the stages power meter and I use the power tap power meters. I've got two power meters, or actually I've got three power meters, but if you're going to get a power meter, I recommend the stages cycling or a power tap. The SRM, the cycle, uh, quark, etc. Waste of money, in my opinion, in 2013. Good product, but why pay that much for something that does the job, like a stages or a power tap? That's my opinion, and they work with your Garmin. And these have a built-in cadence meter, so it shows you your cadence. So on your screen, you can have your power and your cadence and your distance or whatever. Average speed doesn't mean anything. Don't worry about speed. Don't, uh, don't use Speed doesn't mean anything. It's your power and your cadence is all that matters in cycling. So if you want to get fitter, I'd recommend getting a power meter. It's going to change the game for you. It might take a few rides to get used to how to use it, but it's going to be a game changer. Get that 28 on the back, or a 30 or a 32, and get that compact crank set up the front. So it's the 50, 34. I'll type it in the description down below, some tips, and this is how you climb better, and you save your knees, and you love cycling. Thanks for watching. Post your comments and questions down below. See you next video.